Today we're going to talk about the game I completely forgot to mention in my video talking about Sega made 3D fighters for the Sega Saturn. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be taking a look at Last Bronx. Last Bronx was released late in the Saturn's life, October 1997 to be exact. It's based off the Model 2 arcade game of the same name. Along with Soul Edge, or Soul Blade as many of you know it, Last Bronx was one of the first weapons-based 3D fighters out there. It was also one of the first games to use motion capture technology. And there was even a How It Was Made video released in Japan on glorious VHS. Today Last Bronx has a huge cult following even though it hasn't been released anywhere else. In Japan there was a 10th anniversary edition that hit the PlayStation 2. And I believe there was also a PC version that was originally released in the late 90s as well. The game takes place in an alternate reality Japan where crime and street gang violence is everywhere. You take on the role of one of eight playable characters, Yuzaku, Joe, Lisa, Tommy, Yoko, Zaimoku, Naji, and Kurosawa. Each belongs to a rival gang, and your mission is to defeat all of the other combatants and reign supreme. Interestingly, the Saturn port of Last Bronx not only features the core arcade game where you face off against Red Eye as the final boss, but there's also a Saturn mode which completely changes things. It adds a story that, well, is completely different than the arcade mode and has each character face off against a different end character and makes Red Eye a sub-boss instead. It's actually possible to play as Red Eye if you complete the Saturn mode with all eight playable characters. The gameplay is based off the punch, kick, and guard setup from the Virtua Fighter series. In this case, punch is a weapon attack. Win two rounds and you claim victory. It's also possible to perform a ring out if you reach the end of the arena, jump back off the surface, and then do a backflip. It's almost impossible to do this while facing off against an opponent, but I always thought it was kind of funny that it is technically possible to get a ring out in a closed arena fighter like this one. You can perform a wide variety of special attacks, making use of directional combinations in conjunction with the three attack buttons. You can even taunt, which the CPU actually does, and that was really rare for a fighter in those days. The Saturn port also comes with a fairly robust training mode, a survival mode, and a movie mode which allows you to watch all of the sequences you unlock in the Saturn mode. Naturally there's also a fun multiplayer versus mode for when your friends come over. Like many of the 3D games released during the 32-64-bit era, there are some noticeable clipping issues, although overall I gotta say this is a fairly nice fighter to look at and it really hasn't aged too poorly. It has a rock solid 60 frames per second gameplay and the resolution is nice and crisp. Colors are also varied and rich looking. The soundtrack is also quite good, although I do find that things are a little too quiet before a match begins. And the whole package overall doesn't feel quite as refined as something like Virtua Fighter 2. But in terms of quality 3D fighting, this is certainly a solid one that you should own if you enjoy the genre. Last Bronx is becoming harder and harder to find these days for some unknown reason. 
It's not overly rare, but it just doesn't pop up on eBay or Amazon as frequently as it used to. If you spot one in the wild, be sure to grab it up before the game starts going for insanely high prices thanks to its cult following status. If you enjoy fighting games, or weapon-based fighters in particular, or if you're just looking for something a little bit different on the Saturn, Last Bronx will not disappoint. I want to thank absolutely everyone for taking part in this week's long feature looking at all the different 3D fighters Sega made for the Saturn. It sure was fun covering all of these excellent games. に負けるとは